Welcome back, Sinag Babies! Are you ready to learn with me again? Cool! Oh, by the way, if you're new here, make sure you'll be a Sinag Baby too after this video lesson. How? You'll find it out later. I'm Teacher Sinag, making things easier, clearer, and brighter for you. Welcome to my channel. In my previous lesson, you were able to add and subtract fractions and mix numbers with or without regrouping, right? This time, you're going to learn how to multiply simple fractions and mix numbers. Let's start with multiplying simple fractions. Multiply 2 thirds times 5 seven. To get the answer, just multiply both numerators and denominators. 2 times 5 equals 10. 3 times 7 equals 21. So, 2 thirds times 5 seven equals 10 over 21. Now, try answering this. Multiply 3 fifth times 9 ten. The answer is correct! 27 over 50. So easy, right, Sinag Babies? How about this one? Multiply 2 sixth times 3 fourth. To get the answer, Follow these simple steps. First, multiply both numerators and denominators. Second, get the common factors of both numerator and denominator. Third, group them according to their common factors. We got two halves and three thirds. Fourth, simplify the numerator and denominator with common factor. Then, multiply. So, 2 halves is equivalent to 1. 3 thirds is equivalent to 1. Then, copy 1 fourth. Therefore, 2 sixths times 3 fourth equals 1 fourth. Were you able to follow? Okay, here's another example. Multiply 27 over 28 times 7 over 9. To get the answer, again, we must follow the steps in multiplying these fractions. First, multiply both numerators and denominators. Second, get the common factors of both numerator and denominator. So, 27 is equal to 9 times 3. 28 equals to 7 times 4. Third, group them according to their common factors. We got 9 over 9, 7 over 7, and copy 3 fourth. Fourth, simplify the numerator and denominator with common factor. Then, multiply. So, 9 over 9 equals to 1. 7 over 7 is equal to 1. Then, copy 3 fourth. So, 1 times 1 times 3 fourth. Therefore, 27 over 28 times 7 over 9 equals 3 fourth. Now, let's multiply mixed numbers. We notice that when we multiply fractions, we get the product of the numerators and denominators correspondingly. What if the given numbers are mixed numbers? We need to review first how to convert a mixed number to improper fraction. Consider these steps. Convert 5 and a half to improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the whole number by the denominator. 5 times 2 equals 10. Step 2, add the result to the numerator. 10 plus 1 equals 11. Step 3, write the sum over the denominator. 11 over 2. 
Now, to convert an improper fraction to a mixed fraction, divide the numerator by the denominator. Like this example, 15 over 4, you have to divide it. So, 15 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. 15 minus 12 equals 3. So the divisor 4 becomes the denominator of the mixed number. Then, the quotient 3 becomes the whole number of the mixed number. Then, the remainder 3 becomes the numerator of the mixed number. Therefore, 15 over 4 becomes 3 and 3 fourth. Now, let's try multiplying mixed numbers. Here's an example. Multiply 8 times 2 and 1 fourth. First, convert mixed number to improper fractions. So 2 and 1 fourth is 9 fourth. Second, express the whole number as a fraction. So 8 is 8 over 1. Third, multiply both numerators and denominators. Get the common factor of both numerator and denominator. So 8 is close parenthesis, 4 times 2, then times 9, over 1 times 4. Fourth, group the fractions according to common factor. So we got 4 fourth times, copy, 2 times 9 over 1. Fifth, simplify the numerator and denominator. So 4 fourth is 1, then 2 times 9 equals 18 over 1. So 1 times 18 over 1. Therefore, 8 times 2 and 1 fourth is 18. Here's another example. Multiply 5 and 3 fifth times 3 and 4 seventh. Again, we're going to follow the steps in multiplying mixed numbers. So first, Convert mixed number to improper fractions. 5 and 3 fifth is 28 over 5. 3 and 4 seventh is 25 over 7. Then, multiply both numerators and denominators. Get the common factor of both numerator and denominator. So, 28 times 25 over 5 times 7. So, 28 is close parenthesis 7 times 4 times close parenthesis 25 is 5 times 5 over 5 times 7 then group the fractions according to their common factors so we got 5 fifth and 7 7 and then copy 4 times 5 over 1 and then simplify the numerator and denominator so, 5 fifth is 1. 7 over 7 is 1. Then, multiply 4 times 5 equals 20 over 1. So, 1 times 1 times 20 over 1. Therefore, 5 and 3 fifth times 3 and 4 7 equals 20. Always remember this when multiplying mixed numbers. Can you now multiply simple fractions and mixed numbers, my Sinag babies? Well, let's see. It's assessment time.
time to check your work. Did you get it right? Awesome! Sinag babies are fast learners. Now, you can already claim my tagline as Sinag Babies. Follow me with the simple steps. Give a pat on your shoulders, spread your arms and fingers like a ray of light, and hit it with a bow and say, Sinag Baby! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified and updated with my upcoming videos. I'm your teacher Sinag, reminding you to be positive and grateful always. Stay home, stay safe, God bless, bye!